If you watch cricket, you have definitely heard the cliche how overcast conditions make the ball swing more. But why does this happen? If it is just the clouds that make swing more prominent, why is it that it is never talked about in the night games? So, I did a bit of research. The explanation I often hear people use is that cloudy humid weather means there is more moisture in the atmosphere which makes the air heavier and causes the ball to swing more. This is totally wrong. Water molecules are in fact lighter than the air molecules of nitrogen or oxygen. So a higher humidity means that a larger proportion of the air is comprised of water molecules and that only makes the air lighter. A lighter air means that the force with which the air pushes the ball during its movement is lesser and hence the low hence lowering the actual swing. But these effects are usually quite negligible because even during high humidity the amount of water molecules in the atmosphere is quite low and it is not enough to have a significant impact. For example, remember this game? It was arguably one of the greatest day of conventional swing bowling in whiteboard cricket and one of my favorite games of all time. But it happened on a clear sunny day in New Zealand with temperatures around 20 degrees Celsius. This was also the finding of findings of Ravindra Mehta, a NASA scientist and a sports aerodynamics consultant from the wind tunnel experiments him and several other groups performed that the humidity has a very negligible impact on the actual swing of the ball. But it is possible that the reduced daylight can affect visibility and makes batting difficult even if the swing isn't that big. The reason why the ball swing more on overcast days is probably the temperature, especially that of the air right above the pitch through which the ball release by the bowler reaches the batter. Colder temperature makes the air denser and we can use this previous argument to explain why this colder air would help to increase swing. An overcast sky prevents the pitch from getting heated up by the sun. Hence the air above the pitch also remains sufficiently cooler and denser. It is also a well known fact that airplanes get much better lift with less engine power when it is colder. And the mechanism of conventional swing bowling with an angle seam is very similar to that of the aerodynamics of aircraft wings. It should explain why you expect more swing in general in colder countries like England and to a lesser extent in New Zealand and why it usually swings more at night than during day. It is also interesting to note that even a change in temperature of around 10 degrees Celsius only makes the air 4% denser but it appears as if the swing increases much more. Here there are other factors at play. The dense air not only makes the ball move sideways, but it can also slow down the ball much more. It gives the ball some additional time in the air and the sideways force can cause a significant deviation. There could be other additional factors like the turbulence of air when it gets hot, which might have an influence on how the air moves around the ball. But these effects are not studied well enough to give a conclusive result. So in general, to make the swing bowling less effective, just make it hot. Ah, sorry, not like that, but like this. Or like this. So if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. It helps me to keep continue doing this. So see you next time.